Hello everyone, welcome to Eng Classes YouTube channel for a video lecture series on signals and systems. In this video, we will consider the concept on operations on signals. The task is, uh, this is the given signal, I would call it as uh, y of t, which is being expressed with respect to t, which is a triangular uh, signal. The task is to sketch y of t minus 3, y of minus t, y of minus t plus 3, and uh, lastly, y of 2t plus 4. The task is to sketch this signal. The basic operations involved in these uh, signals are there is a time shift, there is a reflection and there is a scaling factor as well. So I need to consider all them and I need to sketch uh, all the signals. Before I actually start sketching on these signals, I would recommend everyone to subscribe to our channel NG Classes uh, and uh, press the notification bell for uh, more interesting videos. Yes, uh, we'll consider sketching those signals. Let me uh, first uh, get uh, x axis and y axis. I'll just get this signal. Yes. So now I'll consider sketching the very first signal. I would call it as uh, y of t minus 3. I'll consider this. So let y axis be y of t minus 3 with respect to t. So whenever I consider the operations, uh, whether it is time shift, time scale, reflection, as per the precedence rule, I have to consider these operations. So the first uh, operation is time shifting. So let me write the same thing. I, I should always do time shifting first uh, followed by time scaling. So later I need to scale the time if there is any time scaling. And towards the end, I have to perform the reflection. So this is towards the end. If there is any reflection, I have to do it towards the end. So if I consider the signal y of t minus 3, what are all the different operations? There is only a time shift. So any signal need to be always compared with y of a t minus b. So this I call I would call this as the standard signal where a is the scaling factor and b is the shift. So if I compare this with that, I get the shift b equal to 3. And if b is greater than 0, I need to shift the signal to the right by that much of unit. So I got b positive and it is 3. So how do I get the new signal? So add that uh, 3 to the limits, these limits. So 2 plus 3 becomes 5, 3 plus 3 becomes 6. So the new signal will exist from 5 to 6. Is that okay? So now uh, let me write the limit. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I got the limits now, 5 to 6. So this signal, whatever the shape is there, so that signal would appear here from the point 5 to 6. So what about the amplitude and all those things? They remain the same. The, there, there is not going to be any change. The shape of the signal will remain the same uh, but it takes the new position that is 5 to 6. So this is how the signal looks like. Is that okay? So this is the first signal y of t minus 3. This is how I sketch. So next task is the y of minus t. So I would consider sketching the uh, next signal that is I would call this second signal y of minus t. So what is y of minus t? It is the reflected version of y of t. And uh, y of t looks like this. So let me sketch the reflected version of that. For that I will get x axis and y axis. So now uh, this signal I would call this as y axis as y of minus t. I am sketching the signal with respect to time t. So how does that look like? So whatever I have over here, this gets reflected along the vertical axis. Are you getting the point? I said this signal would get reflected along the vertical axis. Uh, it's as good as this is the mirror image. Just keep the mirror on to y axis. How does that look? Uh, that appears over here. So let me write the limits first. So limit this is 1, 2, 3. Now they would become a minus 1, minus 2, minus 3 onto negative axis. So here plus 2 and plus 3 would become minus 2 and minus 3. So how does the reflected version look like? So here uh, this is how the reflected version of the signal looks like. Amplitude uh, will remain the same. This will be 2, this will be 1. So this is y of minus t. This is how the second signal y of minus t looks like. I hope uh, you have understood. Uh, moving on further, the next task is to sketch y of minus t plus 3. So let me write that y of minus t plus 3. So first I'll get that x axis and y axis. And now I would call this signal this is with respect to t. So first try to understand what are the different operations involved. 
y of minus t plus 3. This 3 is represented with respect to the shift and this minus t is that says it is a reflection. So there are two operations involved while sketching y of minus t plus 3. Uh, that is first shift and then uh, reflection as per the precedence rule. So if I compare this with y of a t minus b. So b I would get it as minus 3. Are you, are you getting this point? It is not uh, b equal to not just 3, it is minus 3 because y of a t minus b. So compare b, I would get it as minus 3. In the sense, I have to shift the signal to the left. So this is minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. Here also it is 1, 2, 3 and so on. Sorry, this is 2, this is 3 and so on. So what are the new limits to get the new limits? Uh, I'll consider the original signal. Yes, here is the original signal which exists from 2 to 3. To this, I would add the limits that is minus 3. As the shift is minus 3, I would add the these, uh, these things, minus 3, to these limits, 2 and 3. So what I am going to get? 2 minus 3 is minus 1. 3 minus 3 is 0. So minus 1 to 0 are going to be the new limits. Are you okay with this? I said minus 1 to 0 that is where the signal exists and that signal will be y of t plus 3 the shifted version later I will take the reflected version is that okay so this is how the signal uh, looks like the shape of the signal is going to remain same yes this is how uh, the signal finally looks like so this uh, I call it as uh, y of t plus 3 uh, I'm not done yet done with the operation. I have to consider y of minus t plus 3. I have to draw the reflected version of the same. Uh, let me again consider x axis and y axis. This I call it as uh, minus 1, 0, 1, 2. This will be minus 2. The time axis this is t. So this signal I would call it as y of minus t plus 3. I said it is the reflected version. So now just take uh, the mirror image along the vertical axis. Fold the signal along the vertical axis. So if I do that, uh, I'm going to get the reflected version. So anyone can draw that, the reflected uh, version. Yes. This is how it finally looks like. So this is going to be the amplitude will remain same. This is 2, this is 1. So this is the final signal y of minus t plus 3. Are you okay with this? So moving on further, I'll consider the last signal to be sketched. That is y of 2t plus 4. So let me write that first. So this signal I would call this as y of 2t plus 4. So let me get that x-axis and y-axis. Yes. So this is with respect to t. So I cannot sketch y of 2t plus 4 in the in the in just one go. So I have to sketch y of t plus 4 first. Uh, let me write the limits 1 2 3 this will be minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 uh, yes compare this with the standard signal y of a t minus b so what is b now so if i compare b is going to be minus 4 the shifting is minus 4 so first i have to shift it by minus 4 so where will the new signal uh, occupy its space so add minus 4 here minus 4 here if i do that i'm going to get this is minus 2 and this is going to be minus 1 are you okay with this? 2 minus 4 is minus 2. 3 minus 4 is minus 1. So the new limits will be minus 2 to minus 1. That is where the signal is going to exist. So let me sketch that. That is from uh, minus, I said uh, minus 2. Yes. Till minus 1. From this to this. This is what I get. Minus 2 to minus 1. What will be the amplitude? Amplitude will be the same. I'm, I'm not uh, doing anything to the amplitude. So this is how the signal y of t plus 4 looks like. The next task is, is it done? It is not yet done. I have to consider uh, the scaling factor that is y of 2t plus 4. So how do I get that? So just sketch x-axis and y-axis. So now I would call this signal as y of 2t plus 4. The scaled version of that. So what is that signal? This is again with respect to t. So here I have 0, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. Now what is uh, uh, the scaling factor? So compare this with the standard signal y of a t minus b. a is going to be 2. So what, what I have to do now? 
the amplitude gets divided by 2 that's what it is if a is greater than 0 uh, uh, divide that signal uh, by the number amplitude 2 would become now it gets divided by 2 it becomes 1 and 1 would become uh, 0.5 are you getting with this is that okay so now uh, shape of the signal it gets it is going to shrink now So this is how the final signal uh, looks like. So with the amplitude, I said uh, it got reduced by 2. So initially it was 2, now it is 1. Here it was 1, it becomes 0.5. So this is how the final signal y of 2t plus 4 looks like. Yes, with that is the end of this numerical. I hope everyone has understood this numerical. If there are any doubts, please let me know them onto the comment section and I will definitely answer those uh, doubts. Meanwhile, subscribe to our channel NG Classes for more videos on signals and systems. Thank you everyone for watching.